We're going to briefly introduce the likelihood ratio test, or what I'm going to abbreviate LRT. And then in a separate video, we'll look at lots of examples of implementing this test in R and see how we can make use of it. So this test, it's used to compare nested models. Again, by nested, we mean the terms in terms or coefficients in one model are a subset of what's in the other model. So it's used for testing, adding, or removing terms or variables from a model. So it's the exact same idea as the partial F test that we learned for linear regression. It's the exact same in concept, just a, works a little bit different in its mechanics. Because it's used for generalized linear models, not for a linear model. So it has a null hypothesis that there's no difference between a full and a reduced model. Right? The full model being the one with all of the terms we have in it, reduced one or more terms dropped from that model. And no difference, I mean no difference in the residual deviance. Okay, so it's testing, is there a statistically significant change in the residual deviance, which if you remember is the same idea as the unexplained error. Okay, so does the um, error that the models are not able to explain change significantly when we add or remove certain terms? Null hypothesis that the full model is better. And again, by better, by better, I mean it has lower residual deviance or lower unexplained error. The test statistic, okay, you're not going to calculate this by hand, but just to mention it, the test statistic that it calculates is the residual deviance of the reduced model minus the residual deviance in the full model. And if you remember, the partial left test Again, compared the uh, sum of squared error or the residual sum of squares for the reduced and the full model. There I took the ratio rather than the difference. Um, and if you remember here, we're working on the scale of logs, right? So in some sense, taking the difference in logs is the log of the ratio. So I just wanted to mention that to kind of say conceptually it's very similar to what the partial left test was doing. So it's looking at the change in the residual deviance or the unexplained error. This follows a chi-square distribution. The degrees of freedom are the change in the number of coefficients. And so again, that was the same as what we saw with the partial F test. Right? It followed an F distribution with degrees of freedom change in the number of uh, terms or coefficients dropped from the model. So you're not going to work with this by hand. You're going to be implementing the test in R, and we'll look at um, doing that shortly. Before we do that, I just want to mention here a reminder of other ways we can compare models that are nested or non-nested. We can also use things that we looked at like AIC or BIC. And these are other criteria for comparing models that are nested or they can be non-nested. So that's just a very brief intro to the likelihood ratio test. We'll look at implementing this on a few different examples and then in the next week we'll really look at uh, making use of this test. Stick around guys, there's more to see and please stay safe.